Sportsman's Adventures with Captain Rick Murphy, presented by Yamaha. Coming in the bowl, boys. Stand back. I don't know how big this thing's going to be. <laughs> Woo! Look at that now. Anybody can catch my little one on the line, baby. You got to put a big lure on to catch a big fish. Today's Sportsman's Adventures takes us to Marathon in the fabulous Florida Keys. A departure from the other regions of the Keys, Marathon's Gulf side has got all kinds of natural ledges, wrecks, and reefs. So on this beautiful January morning, we expect to see a bunch of different species. Cobia, anyone? Hey, welcome to Sportsman's Adventures. I've come down to Marathon with my old time buddy, Pablo and Eric from Eric's Outboards. And I'm telling you, Pablo, we got the perfect day to come out into the Gulf and fish the wrecks. We're probably gonna catch cobias, mangrove snappers, and probably even a few mackerels if I had to guess. But right now, we got a big cobia on and Eric's got a double header making it two. That's how you start a sportsman's adventure. This rod's gonna be ready to get broken. Got the here. net? Yep, got the net ready. You got him, Eric? Nope. Makes it hard to reel them in when they hooked in the side. Yeah, right. Oh, no! Oh! Coño, man. <laughs> <laughs> I love how they pull that. They see the net coming, it's like, yeah! Nice. That's a good one right there. Hey, hey, take it easy there, bud. We want to get this out of here. Nobody gets hurt. Nobody move. <laughs> Nobody move. Nobody get hurt. Wow, this fell out. That's nice. a beautiful fish, my friend. Yeah, it is. That's what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> I'm gonna, the only thing that's going to make him better. Is it some lime? <laughs> some lime, <laughs> some black pepper. Some there you go. Everglades season. There seasoning. you go. Everglades season, everything. Thank you so much yes, for sir. bringing me here. What a way to start a morning out. Absolutely, Cobias sir. and snappers and what a great day. And it's a mackerel. Is it? Yes, yeah. sir. Nice. Look at that. You know, that's what's so cool, Eric, about this time of year. You know, we're down here in Marathon. Wow, look at that, how beautiful. The month of January, and it's Watch between the cold now. fronts. Yeah. Here, you take it, Pablo. Look how beautiful a day we got. You know, people up in the Northeast right now are freezing, freezing their hoo-ha off, and we're down here wearing shorts You mean you didn't bring your snow shovel, Rick? No. Nope. No snow shovels, just a bunch of nice... Look nice. at how pretty that fish is. That is a gorgeous Spanish mackerel. I see the you know, they make really good smoked fish dip out of that. Do they? Mm-hmm. Well, boy, I tell you what, they sure got the... Whoop, hey! <laughs> the, the commercial fish houses to do that right there in Marathon. Yes, they do. All right, Pablo, let's, I'm going to get a circle. I got cut off by a mackerel. I'm going to go ahead and... I got one right here. Take this off. My friend. I'm going to hook up jig head. I'll try to get Eric to... Uh... Let you tie on there. Leave this in the little cup holder right there on the old contender, contender. Look at the big snappers down there. You got all kinds of species that come in these winter months and makes it really fun to fish out here when our flats aren't really producing that much. We come out here in the bay and able to fish on one of these nice contenders. And just, so uh, Pablo, let ball. me ask you, do they come in here because obviously this nine, 10 feet of water oh, oh, here is we a go. Lot warmer depth and depending what? on what side of the cold front you're on obviously 10 feet of water is going to warm up a lot quicker than 20 feet of water All or right. so ideally if you're on the warm side of the cold front like we are today it's been two days or three days uh since a cold front's come through and it's the day before a cold front is supposed to hit us so what's perfect is that's why the weather's so slick calm 
you know. Yeah, High pressure has moved away, low pressure hasn't moved in yet. And that's one of the reasons why it's a perfect day to be here. They're on it. They were on it. They look like, those snappers ran after that filter. You mean like, like a, this one, Captain Rick? Like a kid. There you go. In an ice cream shop. No, like this one, Eric. Oh, that's a pretty one. There you go. Show them so that release? Oh, that's a nice release. There we go. Mangrove snapper. Look at that. They're like twins. Yeah. They're a little <laughs> bit on the on the small side here, but there's also Look at that. That's why you call him a snapper though. Mm. Look at that. See, I mean he is not happy. If you get your finger in there, oh, listen to that. It's got those nice little fangs. Oh. There. Little chompers. Yeah. Yeah, man. Like little canines. Little almost. pit bull. <laughs> they are like little pits. We'll just go ahead and let this Too guy go. Too bad they're not oh. healthy here. All right. You, you want, want to, to uh, take that out for you there? Please. Let's get one of these nice D hookers up. Oh, I got it. You got it? Yeah, it popped right out. All right. All right, I'm going to let him go. Look at that little stripe. Oh, boy, I tell you, if you're showing off like that and you accidentally go in the front side, whack out. It can really be painful. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by the Florida Keys and Key West. Come as you are. Yeti, wildly stronger. Keep ice longer. Costa Del Mar, see what's out there. Yamaha, reliability starts here. Catch the latest at Rapala.com. Introducing Helmmaster, Yamaha's first fully integrated digital boat control system. With Helmmaster, you can start your outboards with a swipe of a paw and control them with a single lever. Outboard trim and steering friction adjust automatically as you accelerate and decelerate. Adjust engine speed with the touch of a button. The Helmmaster joystick provides the means to navigate and dock precisely with confidence and ease. Take control of your next vessel with Helmmaster at your command. For years, they've quietly taken you where the fish are. But now the silence is about to break. With the incredible iPilot link, your Minn Kota and Hummingbird can communicate with each other. So you can hold on a spot like an electronic anchor, record and return to waypoints and paths, follow any depth contour, and more. All automatically and all from your Hummingbird or the link remote. They talk and you'll be speechless. Welcome to the Inner Circle. Rotating coverage up to 300 feet gives you a detailed 360-degree view of structure, contour changes, and fish. So you can see them before they see you. Incredible 360 imaging, available for your transom and now for your bow, putting you at the center of the 360 revolution, only from Hummingbird. Continuing the revolution, faster, drier, even better built. Designed around Yamaha's latest technology outboards. Still built by the same craftsmen and anglers who launched the Bay Boat Revolution. Whether chasing world records, or time on the water with the family, or anything in between, there's a new Pathfinder model for you. Pathfinder, number one for a reason, still. Nice one, Eric. Oh, I got it. Good now. job, Eric. Oh, that one. We might have to put him in the hurt locker. Yeah. Or we let him go. Camera, Eric. Oh. <laughs> you know, Eric, I'm just that. so proud of the fact. Oh, whoa. another? Whoa! I got hijacked. I think I've been in a drive-by shooting. You want this one? Sure. I mean, he's a little small, but. 
Let's let him go. Yeah. Eric, I'm just so proud of the fact, not only have you expanded your line of boats and motors at Eric's Outboards right there in Miami, but you have put down the yo-yo and picked up a rod and reel. You're the man. Watch out, Captain Rick. I've got it in the front box there. Oh, you do? You brought the yo-yo? Absolutely. All right. Look, this is a big fish. I don't know what it is. Yeah, let me get out yeah, I don't know if it's a mackerel, this, maybe a big mackerel or a cuda. Is this the point? Oh, oh, you'll never know. He just came unbuttoned or he cut unbuttoned. the wire. Wow. That's amazing. No, you know what happened? Here's what happened. We have five feet. We have the double line. We have five feet of 20 pound. And another mackerel came by while he was chasing the one. That was probably yeah. the pilchard slid up the line. And look where he cut me off, because I only have about 12 inches, 14 inches of mono left. That's the bad part of fishing with live bait. It slides up the line sometimes. How and about you want to try out and put a little uh, a little uh, artificial action on one of these? We could. Maybe see if we can get a couple on artificial. I got Is there some, a cooked up over there? I got, yeah. some rap, I got some Rapalas in there, some little swim I, baits. Sure. Want to try one? Yeah, why not? Put All a little right. trace of wire on it. Okay, I'll go get the box. Yeah, Eric. Get him, Eric. Nice one. So, Pablo, let's talk a little bit about Marathon. Wow. What time of year, you know, we're fishing oh. in the month of of um, January. Look at this one. It's a big bluefish. So we're fishing in the month of January. We've caught mackerel and we've got a bluefish on here. We've got mangrove snappers. We're in nine feet of water. Look at this, guys. That's a good fish. <laughs> yeah. How long does that last, Pablo? That lasts usually all through the spring. So uh, that would be through April or the end of March? Uh, well, it's usually cool. April. I mean, what ends up happening is we end up starting to, you know, concentrate more on the tarpon and stuff when they start showing up in April. So. We tend to get off the, but you know, for the most part, yeah, you you get a lot of action, you know, all the way up through the spring, April. Then then you have to start worrying about once we get into the summertime, the the temperatures of the water getting a little too warm out here. And, and the fish move deeper. That's exactly. all right. The fish move deeper. A lot of these snappers, what they end up doing is, you know, the month of July, they end up moving off of here and they end up taking off and going towards uh, the reef and start there. Start there. Oh! Oh! Uh, oh! How you say? Just <laughs> broke in the rod. <laughs> Good lord. That's all right. I got somebody on here now too. We didn't want to take a picture of that bluefish. I like the fact that you got it off and let me have my side of the stage. Good job there, Eric. But anyway, all the cool you. part is, guys, that if you come to the Florida Keys, you can come at Christmas, November, December, January, February, these cold months, these banks really close. We're only probably eight miles to the end of the Gulf from Marathon. If you wanna come in the spring, you're gonna have tarpon and bonefish and permit, and then obviously if you're an offshore fisherman, you have mutton snappers on the reef, you got the Dorados, late sailfish in March, uh, April. They migrating back through even as early as early May. They have the big tournament, sailfish tournament, first of May, and down in the in Key West. And then you obviously have uh, in the fall. You got your yellowtail fishing, right, Pablo? Yeah, and, absolutely. And yellowtail. Then, yellowtail we get all year round, really. Yeah. Just, um, it's just a, such a fantastic fishery that we have here. You know, options for days and lots of. That's a Big mackerel. Yeah, nice mackerel. Nice one. On the, is that on bait or was no, that on the No, that's on the, the Rapala. Nice. On the Rapala. Oh, he just swam by it. Yeah, swam by it. That's what I like about a good Rapala. He's a ninja lure. He attacks these <laughs> fish. All right. Need another, need another hand there. Coming in the boat. Watch those teeth and yeah. those hooks. Whoa. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Minn Kota, anywhere, anytime. Humminbird, simply, clearly, better. Florida, the fishing capital of the world. La Jolla Resort, a place for families and fishermen. 
Suffix Lines, the world's most hardcore fishing line. It's 200 streamlined horsepower of Yamaha forward thinking. The all new F200 inline four stroke. Whether you're an offshore angler, pontoon cruiser, bay boater, or walleye hunter, the responsive and fuel efficient F200 combines amazing power and versatility in one incredibly compact and lightweight package. The all new F200. Legendary Yamaha reliability and the freedom of forward thinking. You know there's more to it than luck. There's fishing the right bait, the water temperature, the wind, the season, and then there's the boat. We'll put it simply, the boat matters. To own a contender is to own the best sport fishing boat on the market, period. Contender offers the most comprehensive model range with bigger, faster, and more fuel efficient boats than the competition. There's only one choice for serious anglers. Contender Boats, performance through innovation. We tried beating it senseless, bending it in half, and punishing it with extreme temps, corrosive salt water, and blistering UV rays. And all Talon did was ask for more. So we wanted to know what Talon's breaking point really was. We'll let you know if we ever find it. Talon, born tough, tested tougher. Oh, there he is. Hey, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fat boy, can't get none of this. Look at me. I got moves. I go left, I go right, I go left again. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Oh, there it is. Psych! <laughs> I'm so erratic, I don't even know where I'm going. Come on, Chubby Cheese. Come on, come on, Bucket Bob. Come on, come get some of this. I can do this all day long. <laughs> Look at me, watch this. Come on, come on. Your mama's so fat that she can't get out the fish net. Ow! All right, I'll give you that one. It's been said that a bad day of fishing is better than a good day at the office. But down here in the Florida Keys, we have to disagree. Because with over 200 of the world's best charter boat captains and guides, there's no such thing as a bad day of fishing. The Florida Keys and Key West. Thank you for joining us today on Sportsman's Adventure. And be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and Twitter to keep up with all of our adventures, contests, and appearances. You don't even ever have to miss an episode. You can find full episodes of Sportsman's Adventures plus other tips and techniques on our YouTube channel. So head over to our website, sportsmansadventures.com, where you can find all the information you need to stay connected. Today's Coast of Cool Places and Moments is certainly about the Florida Keys bridges. In the early 1900s, Henry Flagler decided to build a series of bridges, over 40 bridges, to connect the hundreds of islands from the mainland to Key West. Now, the Marathon area has three historical bridges that have been made landmarks, and those bridges are the Long Key Bridge to the east, the Seven Mile Bridge west of Marathon, and then certainly the Bay of Honda Bridge. Now, the Long Key Bridge is famous for its beautiful arches. Those arches are 35 feet apart as well as 50 feet apart and that's why you have the differences in heights and that's one of the reasons why the road would go up. It's a great platform to fish off of and hence the Long Key Bridge is certainly a place that you as a recreational angler that's landlocked would want to try if you came to the Florida Keys. Now west of Marathon you have the Seven Mile Bridge over 35,000 feet long hence that's why it's called the Seven Mile Bridge. In the middle of the Seven Mile Bridge, there's a key called Pigeon Key. Now, Pigeon Key was a place where a lot of the workers that maintained the bridges stayed, and in the hurricane of 1935, there was over 130 guys killed in that particular hurricane. Now, the last bridge in the Marathon area that is a historical landmark is the Bay of Honda Bridge. This is the bridge that you can see the old railroad trussle, which was the bridge that connected Knight's Key down to Big Pine, or the start of Big Pine. The cool part about this is it still has that feel of when the railroad was going across. After the Hurricane of 35, they built the bridge on top, which allowed the, the road, which is the first of the overseas highway, to be constructed. 
This was the existing road until the early 80s, and then in 1980, they built the new road, and that's the road that we see. So if you come to the Florida Keys in the Marathon area, make sure you check out all of these beautiful bridges. Oh, oh you got to miss the blue I fish. I got a blue fish here with another blue fish following this one. Maybe I can get a double header on blue fish. There you go. Nice. Come here, blue. Blue fish, red fish, green fish. Remember those books, Dr. Seuss? Yeah. <laughs> and we've got... Look at the blue Mr. fish, man. Mr. Now you talk about some chompers, huh, Pablo? Yeah, very nice chompers. They, uh, they have a, an interesting set of chompers. They're not so much like the, uh, like the mackerel. They're more or less... They're like piranha teeth almost. They're right. more spread apart and they're not as thin as a mackerel would be. They're more like a, like that. a serrated knife blade. Right. Yeah, I see them in there. Holy cow. Look, look at, at that. that. Eric, look at you. Look, look at you. That's what I'm go. talking about. Good job. He's got a tail sticking out of his mouth. Dang. He, he ate that pilcher down. Yeah, he swallowed it. All right. Mr. Pablo, I'm going to need a pair of pliers over here. Okay, sir, I'm dig, coming for you. Dig this hook out. Absolutely. I'll see That's if I can catch another one. Look at the tail sticking out of his That's mouth. That's why we got the nice hook outs. Hook out then. <laughs> now what I'm going to do, need you to do, Eric, is oh, give me a little bit of Oh, I got another one. Here. You got another one in the rapella? Yep, Eric. Oh, oh, I'm, oh. I want a rapella now. Eric. Here you go, son. It's you all in how you wiggle your worm. Up, just like that. Look at this one. Now this. Is a mangrove snappers. No. You're not messing oh. around with kids here. Come on now, boys. That's a good one. Give credit where credit's due. Aye. I'm getting ready to get hooked. That's oh, a yeah. nice one. He's going in the locker. Yeah, not a bad fish for the. That'll make little. our cameramans and camera women's happy. It was definitely outdoing the live bait. You know what I like though, Eric, is it's, this lure is not discriminating. It's catching, <laughs> it's catching all blue of fish and mackerels and snappers and you gotta like that. I like it. The Balsa Extreme Swimmer in the size 12. That's what that's called. Well, Rick, I think that we found a new home for this guy. Okay, we, we, we'll introduce him to something later. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Custom Trailer Manufacturer Ameritrail, VMC, your expert in hooks, Williamson Lures for the Pelagic Playground, Maverick, Fish the Legend, and Contender Boats. So Eric, let's talk a little bit about the Mobile Marine Service and how you got started years ago in this business. Me and my dog running around working on outboards and hanging out at the boat ramps and engine cowling come off. I'd gently walk over and offer my, oh, just your, lost, oh. Your, your services? Yes, sir. And, uh, oh, got another one on Rick. Lost him. Oh, he's there again. So tell me. So you would, right there at the dock? Right there at Matheson Hammock or some of the local marinas there in Miami and some down here in the Keys. Right. Um, then it kind of blossomed into getting a relationship with Yamaha. Then I went exclusive Yamaha. I just got cut off on them. Oh. Rapala. I oh, lost no. the, the lucky Rapala. So now Definitely you have well. a contender dealership. You're a big Yamaha box store. Yes, sir. Yeah. And you still, we this is really what's important, you still offer the mobile marine service, That's right? our main line still to this day. We cater to all the dockside service areas uh, in Miami and in the Florida Keys and Fort Lauderdale, where some of the people that, that just don't have the vehicles to bring their boats to the shops, we offer a service and a fleet of trailers to bring the shop to them, if you will. Don't let them get in uh, those big three hundies. I think we got us a good one here. Yeah, that is a good one. Oh, it's oh, a grouper! It's a grouper! It's a grouper. 
Nah. Look at that. Hey, look at That's that. That's a beauty. There we go. Nice little gag grouper. Pablo, what are the regulations for the groupers now? What about uh, well, um, the gotta, time of year you can keep them and all that? Do you know all that? Wow. Mess? It's, well, it, it's just, it's it's so up and down. They change it, you know, hopefully now I, th I think they might have gotten it all worked up. But gag grouper in the Gulf and state waters and federal waters, they have two different closed seasons, I believe. Um, gag groupers closes at the beginning of December. Right. And... Um, you know that's for the Gulf, not the Atlantic. So if technically, if you're fishing out in the Atlantic, you can keep gag groupers up until the end of the year, which is a regular close season. But these gags in the Gulf, um, federal waters, you know, and there's a limit between state and federal waters. They close it down right in December, and it's unfortunate. It's okay. Well, it's unfortunate for some people, but, it's but honestly, it's it, they're coming back. They're they've done a a good job in coming back and they've, there's a lot of places that do have them and they're working diligently with, with information from us guides and other people that are catching them and, and they're regulating it. and we need that yeah, we, we really do, do need all right it. let's get him back in the water bye I bye need guys. A sandwich though big mango oh it hey, is that's what i'm talking about right there look at this look at that nice come here bubba look at, look the at that one look at that Coming can... in the boat, boys. Stand back. I don't know how big this thing's gonna be. <laughs> Woo! Look at that now. Anybody can catch my little one on a live bait. You gotta <laughs> put a big lure on to catch a big fish. I did a commercial one time for Rapala, and it was the tagline was, "Big fish eat little fish that look like Rapalas." <laughs> and there it is. There it is. There it is. Look at that one. Wow, what a day of fishing. At least five different species were caught, which meant that Captain Rick, Eric, and Pablo had their hands full all day. And that's what makes another great sportsman's adventure. Keep up with the latest Sportsman's Adventures news and events by logging into our website at sportsmansadventures.com and following us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Next week on Sportsman's Adventures, Captain Rick takes us to four different fishing tournaments in the Florida Keys and explains what the tournament fishing experience is like for both the captain and the angler. <laughs>